The 2020 Nobel Prizes kicked off a short while ago with the naming of the winners in the field of physiology or medicine. This year's is a trio of virologists. Harvey Alter, Michael Houghton, and Charles M. Rice. The panel at the Institute in Stockholm awarded them the prestigious prize for their discovery of the hepatitis C virus. The medicine prize carries particular significance this year with the coronavirus pandemic highlighting the importance of medical research for societies and economies around the world. Now let's get more with science correspondent Derek Williams, who is here with us in the studio. So tell us more about the winners and whether you were surprised with this choice. Well, I, to be honest, I'm almost always surprised. I mean, I've, I've been doing this for a lot of years, and there, there are always predictions. Everyone always has predictions. And most of the time, I think I've gotten it right twice in the last 15 years, and that's, that's 50 different prizes. Um, it isn't a surprise in the sense that this is a dangerous and deadly pathogen. And uh, the steps that these scientists took um, were very important to helping us get on top of that pathogen. They were very fundamental and very basic. So in that sense, also against the current backdrop of the pandemic that we're going through, it's not a surprise. Tell us more about their research and how it's changed actually our daily lives. Well, the hepatitis uh, liver disease is, is often caused by, by infectious viruses as well. There are three different strains that we know of. And, and two of them, B and C, are, are, are potentially deadly pathogens. They can cause, they, they can turn chronic and often silent and, and they can slowly destroy liver function. Just, just to give you the, an idea of the, of the scope of the problem, um, hepatitis C virus alone infects around 70 million people every year all over the world. From among those who are infected, around 400,000 people are going to die. And when it reaches an advanced stage, um, the only viable option for many patients is, is going to be a liver transplant. So um, the first step towards fighting a disease is obviously identifying the pathogen. If you don't know what, you, what you're having to deal with, then there's no way to go on and, for example, develop diagnostics to detect it. That's one reason why they're receiving the prize, because uh, another is that you're not going to also going to be able to go on and develop antivirals to help, to help treat people. So the first fundamental building block that you have to have is, what are we dealing with? Let's identify it. This is what it is, and that's what they did. And it's really interesting that they're being awarded this in a year where we are having a global pandemic, and these are virologists, aren't they? They are, and, and I think that even though the nomination process closed out in, in January, and we've seen, we've seen a huge amount of, of interest and, and research into, into viruses and, and, and SARS-CoV-2, and we've learned a lot about things like, very fundamental science things, like about the immune system. Um, all of that research is still very fresh. So I think you're gonna see a whole crop of sort of COVID-19 uh, Nobel Prizes five or 10 down, years down the road. But I think that th given, them giving this prize right now for viral research certainly sends a sign. And that sign is that this is, these are problems that we're going to be dealing with in the future. And this is very, very important scientific research. It deserves the prize. Derek Williams from DW Science. Thank you.